Alrighty then, welcome back. My name is Panda Imunch, and here today we're here to get you all the new alchemy materials. Now, first off, the first thing you want to get is this new butterfly wing and torchbug thorax. And I was actually having difficulty finding butterfly wings for the longest time. Because for some reason, the butterfly wings, not terribly common in a lot of areas. Because butterflies are either wasps or torch bugs in most other areas. But this one place in the Daggerfall Covenant in Rivenspire, specifically in this one area, there's this huge swath of green land. And there's just butterflies and torch bugs everywhere. And if you just go up and down the peninsula a little bit, you'll find a shiitake ton of butterfly wings and torch bugs. The only thing is that butterfly wings, you get like a 10% chance to actually get anything. So you're going to be there grinding for butterfly wings for a little bit of time, but it's better than spending 120 gold per butterfly wing on the auction house or even more. It, they're ridiculously expensive, but you can make some really nice vitality and HP or sustained health potions. Super nice stuff. Great for tanking. And for this, you just want to go up and down the continent, like I said. But next, we're going to go try to get the Mud Crab uh, Chitin and the Beetle Scuttle. Now, for the first off, we want to head down to Grotwood, down to this Davin's, uh, port, or Haven's Port, sorry. And down there, you will find this little coastline off to the right. And there, you'll actually find a large amount of mud crabs in pods of three, uh, you know, scattered throughout this beach line. And you can uh, get a decent amount of mud crab right in here. And you just want to go up and down this beach. There's, It's like a little uh, U-shape, so you just go up one side and down the other. And you'll get about maybe 30 or so mud crab. And what's good about this place is that they're all pretty low level for the most part. And you can kill them pretty quickly. And it still has a fairly low drop chance with mud chitin, but if you're there for quite a while, you'll still get a decent amount. I'll make sure you stock up on some regen food so it's easier grinding so you can just uh, blow right through it all. And as you see right here, I'm just going right through it. Not too hard at all. And then after this, there is a forest right behind it. Uh, that leads to a locale. And in this forest, there's actually beetles in here as well. So you actually do have a, a decent chance just to go in there and farm it as well. But moving on, next we're going down this little place in the, can't remember, it's Ebonheart Pack second zone. And you want to go down to where that blue triangle is, that's where I am. And it's like Targal's cave or something like that. But the thing is about this is that to get the Scrib Jelly, you actually have to go down here and just farm here. Because it is basically a nice little uh, circle here. And it's full of these, how to say, uh, Quarma. And you just go down here and kill them all. We're really low level, so you can just kill them really quickly. And pretty much every single one of these guys will drop Scrib Jelly. And then you go in the back, kill those Scrib as well. Get a crap ton of Jelly. And the thing is, even if this is low level and you still kill them in one shot, uh, this is big enough that this place will actually, uh, if you go around the loop and then back down to the door and back, there will always be some guys spawn, so... It's a decent grind, and you do get the script jelly. This is what I used to get it, but uh, most part, you'll get a lot of script jelly running dark shade caverns or a lot of undaunted uh, pledges. Considering Quarma are uh, quite a prevalent theme in a lot of dungeons, so you shouldn't have too much trouble getting script jelly. Running back and forth. Alright, and for the next one, this is actually how you get the spider eggs, which is, you know, a little bit more of a common thing to get. Spider eggs are not terribly rare at all. So what you actually want to do with this is go down this little place where it's a farm infested by spiders in the first Ebonheart Pack zone. And you can just go around here and kill spiders and you'll get spider eggs from all of them. And these spiders gather up in clusters, so you do get two or three per uh, little cluster. And if you go in the back, there's even more spiders. And you just go back there and kill them all. But um, I doubt you'll actually need to farm spider eggs, because spiders, they're even more common than the quarma. So you'll rarely need to farm these guys, but every single one nearly drops an egg for me. 
And these are more useful for poisons, not recommended uh, well for uh, any health pods. Because it does have three negative side effects, that is defile invisibility and reduce speed. So it really doesn't actually lend itself well to potion making. The bad cape I found doesn't have actually any spiders, but you can kill the smaller ones for a bunch of bait if you need it. And if I kill those spiders in the back, then you can just head back through the front, and there should be uh, spiders along the way. And for this last one, for the fleshlight larva, you want to go to Cold Harbor to this place called the Vile Laboratory. And this place is actually a fairly common grind for low-level people and people who are looking to get their uh, fighter skill level up. So this is places uh, tend to be a little bit more commonly farmed, but this is also a much more common uh, alchemy reagent. So you rarely, rarely even need to grind this at all, if any. And you just head down to where all the zombies are and you just butcher them. And they're all in a pretty high density, there's a lot of them around you. So if you were to kill maybe, you know, uh, 5 or 10 per little grinding session, you'll get a crap ton of this fleshlight larva, as well as getting, I think, uh, quite a decent stockpile of um, materials used for crafting if you do so need those yourself. And since this is Cold Harbor, uh, pretty much any faction will be able to get loot from this place besides the alchemy reagent. And you'll also get a nice amount of bait as well. As you can see, I'm farming this little area and I'm getting a decent amount of jelly itself. Or not jelly. Fleshlight larva, what am I saying? It's not Quarma. And you just bounce around from pod to pod, killing them. And as you can see, there's people grinding here as well, so I feel kind of bad that I'm taking their stuff. But I mean, hey, I need some alchemy reagents. And then once you head down past the bag, then you run back forward, and you'll uh, find more zombies. There's a fairly high spawn rate of these things, so not terribly bad. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about these new alchemy reagents, feel free to ask them. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. And with that, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.